Welcome back. In most cases, you are going to be sending out an email to your email marketing list using the broadcast feature in Aweber. This means that you are writing the message from scratch and you are sending out this message at some particular point in time. Now, you can send out the message at a point in time before it actually has to go out. However, you are writing these messages individually, one at a time, to arrive at your subscriber's email box at a random time. So let's compose an email in our draft area. So we have now composed our email and we're now going to click save and exit. And we're going to send out this email as a broadcast to our entire subscriber list. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the send options and we're going to schedule a broadcast. Now you'll notice that if you decide that you want to change the subject line, you can actually change it in this field or you can leave it as it is. And in the first section, there are some decisions that you can actually make. So for example, we can click the edit button and we're going to notice that you can actually produce your own broadcast archive. Now that broadcast archive is actually already branded because we did that in an earlier video. So for example, let's take a look as to how this broadcast archive will actually appear. Now right now we don't have any emails, but you'll notice there is our logo. You'll notice there is an opt-in page. And what we can do is we can share this broadcast archive just as we would any other web page. So when we publish to a broadcast archive, it's almost like publishing to a web page. And the same thing is going to be true with our RSS feed. Now we can also post to our social media accounts and we can do that to a particular page or a particular Twitter account. And we can do that by connecting to a new account in these areas. Now we're not going to do that right now. We've actually already determined in our settings that we are not going to connect to Twitter or Facebook, but you can so that your broadcast email will appear there. When you have made all of your choices in this area, what you're going to do is you're going to click apply. Now, the next stage is who is actually going to receive the message. And this is actually going to be very important. So we're going to click the edit button. Now in this particular case, we can actually send the emails to just the people who are going to be on this list, or we can actually include everyone on all of our lists. And typically, if you're going to have a broadcast email, you'll send it to everyone on all of your list, or you can exclude some lists or include others. So in some cases, what you could do is you could include everyone in three lists and exclude everyone that would be part of another list. You have maximum flexibility over how you're going to actually structure who actually receives this email. Now the other thing that you can do is you have some choices about who within those email lists actually are going to receive this email. In this drop down arrow, you notice that you can actually send to the active subscribers. You can actually send to subscribers that have only been added since today or yesterday or seven days or in the past year. What this does is this actually allows you to send to people who you can segment based on a certain pattern and then you can actually market to them more effectively. Once you determine who is actually going to receive your message, whether or not they're going to be included or excluded on your list, or whether or not they're going to be added at a particular time, you're then going to click apply. Now, another thing that you can do is you can determine when this email is going to be sent. You can click the edit button and you can actually time this email so that it can be sent at a particular day on a particular time. We can go into the future. And send on any day that we actually feel this email is appropriate to send. Once we've determined when we want it to be sent, we can click apply. Now we can actually take, make it so that the timing is going to be immediate. We'll just cancel this. And then we will leave it at immediate. And that is the default. Now the last two options are 
that we can actually track clicks on the website links in this message and we can have email statistics sent to us a short period of time after the email is actually sent. Now what we're going to do in the next email is we're actually going to show you how to put website links inside of your emails because this is what you're actually going to be tracking inside of your quick stats and you're actually going to be tracking clicks and Aweber is going to tell you how your email is actually faring with those who have received it. Once you've determined who is going to receive your email, you can actually click send message now. Now, if you have decided to send this message into the future, for example, let's move this email to a date in the future and we click this button, it's actually going to schedule the message for that particular time. And you'll notice that message is now scheduled. We can actually go and unschedule this message if we do not want it to be sent. Once that happens, that email is then returned to the draft area. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.